Hey there guys, it's Kim George here and I want to welcome you to a brand spanking new video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about um, how to create some really easy and stunning coloring pages using none other than Kittle AI. That's right. So before we dive off into this video, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, comment. Also, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to Kittle for sponsoring this video. You guys know I've talked about Kittle before. Um, it really is a fantastic tool. I have some more content coming up um, with the use of Kittle and just some of the other awesome things that you can do. But for, for today's video, we're just going to be doing some really awesome and cute coloring pages using Kittle's AI platform. Now, before we dive in, also wanted to mention <laughs> that for those of you that are interested, um, I do have um, a course available to help you with building out a low content book um, brand and um, using your brand basically to sell more books. And that course is called From Publish to Profit. So I have a link below for you to find out more information about that. And then I have some freebies as well. One of them is a swipe file that you can get a list of over 200 types of low content books that you can publish and create and sell on Amazon. And then the other is a free masterclass that you can attend to learn the framework that I use to go about publishing low content books that helps me make over 1k plus per month. Now let's get into the video. So I've mentioned already that um, we're going to be using Kittle for this specific tutorial. I was absolutely blown away at just the AI and just some of the different coloring pages and things that you can kind of create with it. So I figured I would use this opportunity to kind of demo this and show you how you can use this. Now what I love about Kittle is that whatever you create is considered, um, you know, they have a commercial license to use their, pro their platform for anything that you create. But as always, the things that you do create with Kittle and any other platform, you really want to make sure that you are adding other things to them where you can to really try to make your designs unique and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do though is I'm going to really quickly jump into the back end of Kittle and show you guys how you can go about using the AI tool to create a coloring page. But let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I am over on the back end of Kittle. And so what we want to do is once you get logged in, you will have to sign up for an account. There should be a link below so that you can get signed up for a Kittle account if you haven't already. Just so you know, I am an affiliate for them, but I do have a membership to the platform. So, but I'm going to go over to where it says new project. And so this is where we're going to get started with creating our coloring pages. Now, since we're creating a coloring page, the standard coloring page size is going to be an 8.5 by 11. So we need to go under settings and we need to make a couple of changes. The first thing is that we need to change the unit size from pixels to inches. And then we also want to set the DPI to 300 because that is pretty much the standard. And then we want to set the width to 8.5 and then the height to 11. And then you want to go ahead and click create to create this new project. Now, what I'm going to do now is go over to the left over here to where it says Kittle AI, and I'm going to click on this button. Now, this is where you can actually come in and start prompting and putting in different prompts, just kind of going off the cuff on what you want to create. So you kind of want to have a vision in your head of, you know, some of the things that you want to create. And this is where you can start testing out your prompts. So, for example, if I wanted to create maybe some kind of large print uh, flower coloring book, then maybe what I can do over in here is put in something like uh, create a large print rose coloring page, black and white, thick lines in a vase. So I want to put that as a coloring page. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click generate image. And then this is going to start generating an image based on my prompt into the Kittle AI. And let's just kind of see what it comes up with to see if it um, aligns with what I'm trying to create. Do I give it a few minutes? And dun, 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 here is what it came up with. So I actually think this looks okay. All right. But what I can do here is run a different prompt. And so what I can do is, let's see here, create a large print, create a large rose coloring page in black and white thick lines in a flower 
field or something. I don't know. So we can test that out. <laughs> and I'm just, again, I'm going off the cuff, just testing it out to see, you know, what kind of images and things that you can do with this. So we'll give it a few minutes and we'll let that run. And we will see what kind of image we get back. So let's see here. Okay. All right. So this looks pretty good. Oh, and I do like this. This is really pretty. So as a large rose for a coloring book or for a coloring page, I think this could definitely work. So this is just kind of giving you an idea of a kind of coloring page that you can create using maybe a large print flower or something like that. Now I'm going to try a different kind of prompt for a different kind of coloring page. So maybe you wanted to do something like a monster truck book, a monster truck coloring book, or a, um, let's see what else, a vintage car coloring book. So maybe we can do create a vintage car coloring page, black and white, thick lines, street, driving on a street. And so we'll put it into the AI and see what it comes up with. And again, it's just all about testing to just kind of see what you can come up with with your prompts until you can find something that really, really works for you. And then, you know, you can definitely dig in to go a little bit deeper and more, um, uh, be more specific about the coloring page that you want. So maybe instead of saying just any kind of vintage car, maybe you can do like a specific kind of vintage car. And wow, <laughs> that turned out really, really nice. Look at that. Wh what? Oh my gosh. Oh, this looks really, really good. Now, of course, what I would probably do is try to figure out a way to, um, I don't know if there's a way to upscale that in here, but wow, this looks really, really good, right? Look at this page. <laughs> so this is a vintage car coloring page, and I really do like this. Um, I, 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 do, I do like this a lot. I mean, wow, this looks really, really good. So let me just try to test to see if I can maybe come up with an um, aspect ratio here if I change it. I'm just going to test that really quickly. Let's see. Let's see if I can put that in. AR. I think it's space. AR. Let's see. 9, 14. Let's see if it'll do that. So let's see what happens. So I put the aspect ratio. I'm just going to, I'm curious to see if this is going to work. I haven't tested this out, but... You can see here that that page came out <laughs> really, really, really nice. So, I mean, wow. Yeah, you can definitely put that in a coloring page or in a coloring book. All right, so let's see here. So I don't think that it did with the aspect ratio, or maybe I didn't put it in there right. But as you can see, though, the pages are coming out really, really, really nicely here. So these are coming out really good. I really do like the look. I like how clean it is. There's not a lot that you have to kind of clean up in the pages and so on and so forth. So I just wanted to show you guys, for those of you that are you know, into creating coloring books or creating coloring pages and things like that, just show you guys how you can use Kittle AI, um, Kittle's AI to do some really awesome coloring pages. So as you can see, I just kind of put in some prompts of some things that I wanted to color and just kind of, you know, gave it, um, get, put the prompt in there into the AI based off of my thoughts of what I wanted to color. And it just kind of produced these images. And like I said, you know, I really like the fact that there's not a lot of grays and things in here that you have to clean up like you do on mid journey, because I have to be honest, I do use mid journey on some things, but I will say that I'm pretty impressed with the AI here. So again, I just wanted to show you guys this and just encourage you to get in here and play around with it. And I'm going to continue to play around with it because I do think that what is produced so far has looked actually pretty good. All right. So that pretty much wraps everything up, guys. As you can see, I mean, the coloring page came out, in my opinion, really, really good. Um, there's still some black, you know, um, things right here on the tire. But I think overall for the actual page, I think that it came out well. So once you actually create a coloring page that you're happy with, what you can do is go over to where it says download, and then you can download the coloring page as a PNG, as a JPEG, or as a PDF, especially if you're going to be printing this out to sell in a print on demand shop, maybe that you're running or to add to a book that you want to create 
as a coloring book. So again, I just wanted to show you guys how quickly and easy it is to use Kittle's AI to come up with really nice and professional looking coloring pages. So for those of you that enjoyed the video, I love for you to just share with others and also to like um, as it helps push it through the YouTube algorithm. But I would love to know, what are your thoughts? Are you planning to use Kittle? Did you even know that it could do this? So comment below, let me know what you think. And um, stay tuned as I have another video coming out later this week that shows you how to create a different type of coloring page using Kittle. All right, take care guys and stay safe out there. Bye.